Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can create a what if parameter to interact with different scenarios within your Power BI reports. This is a dashboard in which we have already applied the what if parameter. This parameter applies to the sales forecast of this report. With this parameter, we can analyze the impact. And of course, this can also be applied to, for example, costs. Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can create a what if parameter to interact with different scenarios within your Power BI reports. This is now also shown in the graph, but also in the table, as well as the measures down below. We can also say that the sales will decrease by 10%. And this is now also shown in the graph, the tables, as well as the measures. And this is how the what if parameter works. So if we want to create this parameter, we can go to the modeling tab and under what if we click on new parameter. Now we give the parameter a name, which we call sales forecast. And for the data type, we can choose between whole number, decimal number or fixed decimal number. In this case, we choose a whole number. After this, we insert a minimum and a maximum. So for the minimum, we choose minus 20 and the maximum is 20. Then we should define the increment and we choose one. And at last, we need to insert the default value. And this is the value that Power BI will show if no value is selected. For this value, we insert zero. Now we can see that Power BI has created two things. First, a parameter. And secondly, a measure linked to this parameter. Now the parameter is a series of numbers that we have defined when we created the parameter. And the measure linked to this is equal to the value that is selected from the parameter. And therefore the formula selected value is used. If we put both the values on the screen, we can see how they work. Power BI has already inserted the parameter. So now we only have to insert the measure. So the parameter allows us to choose between the predefined range of values, which we have created. And the measure will then become equal to this value. So if we select five from this parameter, this will also be displayed in the measure. And this is how the two are linked to each other. Now that the parameter has been created, we need to link it to our original measure on which we want to perform the what if analysis. We can do this by creating a new measure. For this new measure, we use the parameter value in the calculation. So the sales forecast is equal to the old sales multiplied by one plus the sales forecast parameter divided by 100. We divide it by 100 because we are using percentages. Now we have created the sales forecast measure. If we now add the sales forecast measure to the dashboard, we can see if we can perform a what if analysis. So I add it to the graph, the table, and also include a measure for it. To test if our what if parameter is working, we can change the numbers within the slicer. If the slicer is equal to zero, we see no differences. If we now change the slider to minus 10, we can see that the sales forecast is decreased by 10%. We can see this in the graph over here, but also in the two measures as well as the table. This means that our what if parameter is working like it should. If you like this video and would like to learn more about business analytics in the future, then subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.